Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. It's always bad when you lose all your missiles. Then you definitely have to turn to harsh language. Keep your thermonuclear warheads away from my cities. They're peaceful. I mean, they're not, but they don't know that. Welcome to Classic Game Room. You don't need Skynet to command nuclear missiles. Your Atari computer will also do the job. This is Missile Command on Atari Home Computer. Here we have another classic Atari arcade game being played on the Atari XE home computer. It's Missile Command. Destroy the missiles before they nuke you and your cities. It's a great game. If you haven't played Missile Command, you just haven't experienced all the fun of global thermonuclear war. I'm playing a two-player game against Brandon here where we're taking turns in between rounds and of course Brandon's like 12 years old so he didn't grow up in the Cold War where real life was like war games. At least it was in the movies, which that was an awesome movie. Anyway, this is basically the Atari 5200 version of Missile Command being played on the Atari XE home computer, but this will work on any of the older Atari home computers. Except I'm not using a trackball, I'm playing with the Sega Genesis controller. Which is not as good as a trackball, obviously, but still good enough to get the job done. Unless you're Brandon, and you don't understand the real threat of being nuked by ICBMs. That's right, you can't level up by earning experience points in this game. You just die horribly. Vaporized, and then your ashes are radioactive forever. And then it's Planet of the Apes, which was also a great movie. So as you see, the key to getting a big score in Missile Command is keeping your cities alive and conserving your missiles. That's where you get the big points, but as you know, if you've ever played Missile Command, it picks up speed quickly and wipes you off the face of the earth as fast as possible so the next person can insert quarters into the arcade machine. This is a far more forgiving version of Missile Command. You'll last a bit longer, you've only got one missile turret to worry about. Lucky for Brandon, he scored an extra city. Kids these days, conserve your missiles! Not that I'm any great master of missile command. I do like this version a lot, though. I like the Atari 5200 and 2600 versions, too. If I was one of Brandon's citizens living in that last city, I'd be nervous. And now they're all playing Fallout instead of Missile Command. Let's watch the rest of my game. Well, that was a pretty piss poor showing right there, but those triangles are tough. One could say there is no real winner in Missile Command, or one could say we all win because reality then turns into the Road Warrior. This is a great home console version or home computer version of Missile Command. I've been told it's built into the Atari XE computer, but I haven't figured out how to play that yet. I'm using the actual Missile Command game cartridge, which was sent to the show by Lori in Finland. Finland, Finland, Finland. Thanks for the game. It's really fun, but you already know that. Now, I'm not entirely sure if you can hook a trackball up to the Atari computers, but it's a great game regardless of what you play it on, 2600, 5200, Atari computer, or the arcade machine. 
It's Missile Command, which always has a happy ending. It's not the end, it's the start of another game of Missile Command. I've failed my civilians. They're all irradiated now. I'm sorry. I really don't care. <laughs>